Praise the Lord, saints. Pastor G here from Covenant Kingdom International Ministries. And we want to wish each and every one of you a blessed and a happy, a joyous, and a safe 4th of July. Amen. Glory to God. Hey, you know what? We are still one nation under God. Our currency, our very currency says, in God we trust. Amen. And so on a natural level, yes, on, in, we, you hear people say that it's, it's printed on our currency, our natural physical currency, in God we trust. But for the believer, faith is our currency. Amen. Hallelujah. Listen, because without faith, what? It is impossible to please God. Amen. Hallelujah. So we are, we, we, are, we are glad that we are celebrating the independence of our nation. Amen. For over uh, uh, several hundred years. And we give out God all the glory, the honor, and the praise. Amen. Uh, the Bible tells us that we're the spirit, of, that the Lord is that spirit. And where that spirit is, there is liberty. Amen. So we thank God for the freedoms that we are enjoying in this day. Amen. Hallelujah. So we're going to cut, amen, to a, a, a 4th of July a message, a very short 4th of July message. And then we're going to uh, uh, jump over into our message that we that we spoke on Sunday, amen, uh, talking about the power of agreement and unity. Yes, we are still one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Amen. So be blessed by this by this quick message. Amen. I hope you enjoy it. Amen. Get, get ready to take some notes. It is a powerful message. Amen. Again, understanding the power of agreement and unity. God bless you and watch this. Hey, God bless you on this 4th of July. You know what? As we celebrate the 4th of July, yes, I'm wearing my red, white, and blue. I'm wearing blue jeans. And I'm wearing my red, white, and blue to let you know that Jesus came to save you. And as we are celebrating the freedoms and or the blessings of liberty, I also want you to know that Christ came to set you free. <laughs> Hallelujah to God. Listen, listen at this. Freedom is not free. Amen. Freedom is not free. Not, it, let's, let's look at national freedom. In order for the United States to be free, it costs something. It costs blood. That's right. Men, women, and children bled and died for the freedom of this nation. And on a higher scale, on a spiritual scale, in order for us to be free from the penalties and the guilt and the stain of sin, somebody had to shed blood. Oh yes, somebody had to die. So not only do we celebrate our national independence, glory to God, we, so we, we, we celebrate our spiritual dependence upon Jesus Christ. Can somebody say amen right there? Amen, hallelujah to God. So as we celebrate freedom, and we understand that freedom is not free, let's give God praise that we still live in a nation where we can freely come and praise God on a Sunday, <coughs> excuse me, on a Sunday morning or a Thursday evening or a Tuesday night. Amen. Hallelujah to God. That we can boldly and freely lift our hands to the Lord our God. Hallelujah. We don't have to hide. We don't have to run in caves. We don't have to go underground. Not yet. Hallelujah. So I want to encourage you to let loose in praise and worship. Don't hold back when it comes to prayer, amen? What, what are you saving it for? Hallelujah. Cut loose, amen? Hey, snot flying, every spit flying, everything. Hallelujah. Undignified praise, undignified worship, unrestrained worship. That's what we want in the house of God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So as we celebrate today the national independence of the United States of America, the independence of the United States of America. Let freedom ring. Hallelujah. You are free. And I'm going to make a declaration. Hallelujah. You are free today. Hallelujah. From all debt. Amen. You are free today from all pain, all sickness, all disease, all viruses, all germs. Hallelujah. All bacteria. Anything that will cause harm to you, we declare right now that you are free. For where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Where the Lord is that Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. So you declare yourself, I declare you free today in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Glory to God. Hallelujah. He went to the grave, hallelujah, to set us free. He went to the cross to set us free to set us free from sickness, pain, disease, 
death, hallelujah, from the devils. Glory to God, hallelujah. Free, let freedom ring in your souls today as we celebrate, amen, hallelujah. Hey, it's good to be in a free, a free country, hallelujah. Just take a look at the news and look at how some of these, how some of the Christians are being persecuted. And there are even laws now, listen to me, there are even laws now in legislation to bring more persecution to the Christians right here in America. So you need to get your praise on while you can get your praise on. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because there's going to come a time if you're praising God too loud, they're going to lock you up. Oh, don't, don't, don't think those times, don't think, think those times not coming. They coming. They are coming. Amen. So while we got time now, let's praise God with everything we got. Let's worship God like everything we, with everything we got. Amen. It is his, it is his breath, his breath in our lungs. So we pour out our praise unto him. One of my old mentors always used to say, you know what? Whenever you preach, whenever you teach, whenever you pray, whenever you're giving, do it as if, do it, as if it is your first time. Do it as if it is your only time. And do it as if it is your last time. Glory to God. What kind of testimony will your giving leave? What kind of testimony will your praise and worship leave? What kind of testimony will your praise leave when we stand before the judgment seat of Jesus Christ? Hallelujah. When we stand to give an account, of everything that we have said and done in this earth. I want to encourage you, hallelujah, let your freedom ring in Jesus Christ. Pastor G from Covenant Kingdom International Ministries, we bless you, we God, we, God bless you, we love you, amen. Let's get the praise on. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
So we thank you for your presence. We thank you for your glory. Hallelujah. For where the presence of the Lord is, there is fullness of joy. Hallelujah. And at your right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. So we thank you, Jesus, for your presence. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm reminded of Moses, oh God. When they were in the wilderness, they said, Lord, if you don't go, we don't want to go. So we thank you, Father, for leading us and guiding us. We thank you, Father, for sustaining us. We thank you, Lord God, for our health and our strength. For you, it is indeed, it's you who is our healer. We hallow your name, Jehovah Rapha. You are the Lord that healeth thee. And we decree and declare by your name that we are healed from the crown of our head to the tips of our fingers onto the soles of our feet. Hallelujah. That we are healed, O God. David said, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Yes, Lord. Well, I would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of the Lord than to dwell in the tents of wickedness. Yes, Lord. So we thank you, Father, that you've afforded us and allowed us another opportunity to come into the house of the Lord. Yes, Lord. For your word declares, forsake not the assembling of yourselves together, as the manner of some is as we see the day approaching. Yeah. Hallelujah. You, so we thank you, Father, for this opportunity to come before you. Yes, Lord. To hear what does say the Lord. Yes, Lord. Give me words to speak, O oh God, and the words, words for the people to hear. Think through my mind, O oh God, and speak through my vocal cords. That I may speak what you are happy to say on the knees your sheep. Yes, Lord. And I thank you, Lord, for giving them ears to hear. For your word declares that them that had an ear to hear, let them hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Hallelujah. We bless you, Lord. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise. Hallelujah. We worship you in spirit and in truth. For God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. me last night and the hat represent a crown. The hat represent a crown. Do you understand when you wear crowns? The Bible says Jesus is going to come back with many crowns on his head. Mm -hmm. So it represents, amen, a reward. Mm -hmm. Amen, rewards that she received and she was in all white. And I thought when God was showing it to me, that she was in place to see her home going, but he said he is, she is seeing here today. Amen. He showed me an open portal, and he's allowing her to see. Amen. And I heard the word standing room only, mm -hmm. meaning that she has put a demand out. Mm -hmm. Amen. To make sure all of you make it to heaven. Mm -hmm. She has put a demand out. Mm -hmm. So that's the word. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Praise Hallelujah. the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Amen. Praise Thank the Lord. You. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give God some praise. Give God a hand up of praise. Will y'all join me? Give God a hand up of praise. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. So um our message for more this morning, Amen, is the power of agreement and unity. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So we I won't I won't be it won't be before you long. Amen. But we want to talk about the power. You can follow along in the, in the and there's some scriptures in there. I'm gonna call you. I'm gonna call you out to read. Amen. That's our lesson for today: the power of agreement and unity. And so before we even get into the lesson, Amen. We we know that we're living in a time where we need to be in agreement. Where we need to be walking in agreement. Our world is in disarray. Amen. Our world, praise God. Amen. Is in, is in, is is in confusion. Our world is in disunity, amen? amen. And we, 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 we can look at the news, listen to the news, and we can see that there's division throughout the land. Yes. Amen. amen? There's political division. <laughs> Republicans against Democrats. <laughs> and then independence in between. 
Mm -hmm. Amen. The, the left wing against the, the right, the right wing. Amen. Yeah. I don't so too much care about the left wing or the right wing. Let's get them together. Let's make this thing fly. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, there, there's there's racial division mm. in the land. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And, and and there's 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 ec uh, well, uh, uh, <laughs> there's economic division in the land. Social economic division in the land. Amen. Yeah. The richer are getting richer, and the poor are getting poorer. <laughs> and the gulf, the gulf that is, I shouldn't say the gulf that is thick, but the gulf that is between the rich and the poor is is is, is expanding more and more. Amen. Amen. And then we, in our, in, in, in our feeble attempts, our, our human feeble attempts to try to fix the problem, have come up with programs and have come up with systems to try to, uh, to make amends. What am I talking about? Well, the, the, to, to amend or to try to fix the racial disparity, we've come up with, we came up with affirmative actions. Amen. Mm -hmm. And we see how effective that was. We, we, we may have uh, 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 attained a measure of success, yeah. but we're not going to see any real success until we do it according to the word of God. Word of God. Amen. 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 Until we do it God's way, we yeah. ain't gonna see, we're not going to see full success. Amen. That's right. That's Amen. Right. That's uh, right. there, 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 another one was uh, Black Lives Matter. Mm -hmm. And yes, it, the intent was good, but then when you, when you do your research, you see that behind that there was some yes. nefarious... Some motives, amen? amen. Hallelujah. Some ulterior motives, amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. And then people jump on the bandwagon and say, well, okay, yeah, black lives, black lives matter. Well, all lives matter. Blue lives matter. Yellow lives matter. Red lives. And then it just went all out of proportion. Yeah. Amen. Yes. And then there's the division in the church, dare I say. Yes. We got Baptists. We got Methodists, we got Catholics, we got Episcopalian, we got Church of God, we got Church of God in Christ, we got Church of God in Christ holiness. We got back, we got Pentecostal, we got Baptocostal, mm -hmm. we got uh, holiness. Mm -hmm. yeah, uh, yeah, there's a whole lot of them out there. Too many, too many to number, amen. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So that's why that's why when God gave me this message, he says, we're we're in a time now more than ever where we need to, to, to understand the power of agreement and unity. Amen? Yeah. Amos 3 and 3. Let's start. Yeah. Let's jump off right there. Amen? Hallelujah. Yeah. Amos chapter 3, verse 3. And, and you all know that. The Bible yeah. lets us know how can, can two walk together yeah. except they agree. Yeah. Amen? Hallelujah. I can't like, walk out that door and, and ask Vincent to, Pastor Vincent to walk with me if she's going that way. Amen. Amen. Look, in, 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 in its most simplest term, amen. Yeah. For us to walk together, we have to agree that we're going in the same in direction. direction. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. That we have the same motive, that we have the same destiny, yeah. that we have the same mindset. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. Glory to God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. And, and, and then let's turn to Ecclesiastes chapter 4. Ecclesiastes chapter 4, picking it up at the ninth verse. Amen. If this doesn't speak to unity or the, the power of agreement, I, I don't know what does. Amen. So Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verses 9 through 12, it says, Two are better than one. Say amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. Because they have a good reward for their labor. Hallelujah. <clears throat> for they for if they fall, the one will lift him, will lift up his fellow, but woe to him that is alone. That when he falleth, he has no one or another, no one to help him up. And then again, verse 11, if two lie together, then they have heat. Amen. But if, how can one be warm alone? And not to make light of it, but if one be, how can one be warm alone? I, 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 I draw you, get a blanket. Yes. <laughs> yes. Get a blanket, yes. amen, yes. hallelujah. Again, if two lie together, okay, we just covered that in verse 12, if one prevail against him, two shall withstand him, and a threefold cord is not easily broken, yes. hallelujah. Yes. So there is strength in numbers. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory to God. Yes. Hallelujah. So the, uh, to agree, I like using def definitions. I like bringing out definitions to bring clarity to what we're talking about. To agree means to decide together. Amen. That something will be done. Mm -hmm. Or to achieve or to be in harmony. Yes. As of opinion, feeling, or purpose. Yes. To be in symphony. Hallelujah. Yes. To be in sync. To be on one accord. Yes. Or to be of the same mind. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. And then unity, coupled with unity, you, you see where, 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 where the definition of agreement and the definition of unity kind of roll, they dovetail each other, amen? They, they, they link into each other. Yes. Unity yes. means the state or fact of being united, amen. of being combined into one, yes. amen, as a part of a whole, 
Unification, alliance, some of the some of the synonyms, the unification, alliance, a merger, cooperation, forming a coalition, being combined, being unified, being incorporated. And I kind of I, I like this last one here, amalgamated. I said that's a word I'm gonna start using. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's get amalgamated. <laughs> Amen. It mean, all it means let's 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 walk in, let's walk together. Let's yes. be in unity. Amen. Yes. And then one of one of the most uh, prevalent scriptures that we'll find in the Bible is Matthew chapter 18. Verse 19. Uh, I'm going to have it from the Amplified, but if somebody can read it from the, the King James Version, or if somebody has a different version, I'd like to hear that too. Amen? So, um, who, got, who has the King James Version? Okay, Matthew, 18. Matthew 18 and 19. Matthew 18, verse 19. Uh huh. Um, <clears throat> Again, I say. Yes. To you that if two of you agree on earth yes. concerning anything yes. that they ask, it will be done for them yes. by my Father yes. in heaven. Amen. So uh, the Amplified Version reads like this. He says, again, I say unto you. That means he said this somewhere before. Yes. He's making mention of it again. again. Amen. That if two believers on earth agree, that is are of one mind in harmony about anything they ask. Within the will of God, yeah. hallelujah, yeah. it will be done for them of my Father in heaven. Yeah. So here's, here, here are the qualifications of agreement on earth. He says, first I need to find me another believer. Mm -hmm. I, I need to find another believer on earth. Yeah. He says, any two of you, so he's talking about believers, amen? Yeah. If any two of you on earth, so I have to be on earth. Yeah. Hallelujah, somebody. Yeah. Amen. amen. Agree as touching anything. Yeah. Amen, hallelujah, according to his will. Now, yeah. when, when, when we were young in our Christianity, when we were young in our faith, you remember the old folks used to say, let's touch and agree. Amen. Amen, let's touch and agree. Yeah. But as, as time went on, as we gained greater revelation of the, of the word of God, a greater understanding of the word of God, yeah. we understand that that didn't mean, that didn't absolutely mean uh, physically touching. That's it right. meant concerning yeah. any issue, yeah. or concerning a, a subject, concerning a person, amen. Yeah. He said, let uh, uh, touching and uh, as touching and agreeing, amen, hallelujah, yeah. as touching anything, amen. And then he says, within the will of God, so it has to be within right here, yeah. within the context yeah. of your Bible, amen, yeah. hallelujah, yeah. not what I want, not what you want, not what they want, yes. amen, yeah. hallelujah, yeah. but in the context of what yeah. is in line with the word of God, that's what we have to be agreeing on, amen, yeah. hallelujah, yeah. the yeah. most powerful prayers we can pray are prayers from the word of God, yeah. amen. amen, hallelujah, and he says, it will be done, not might, not maybe, yeah. not guessing, not well, we hope to see. He says, no, it will be done. Yeah. It shall be done yeah. of my Father in heaven. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Uh, we also like to break down the Greek and the Hebrew words. And, you know, some people may, may scoff at that. Well, I don't speak Greek and I don't speak Hebrew. <laughs> but well, you know what? The, 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 our Bible, our English Bible, was not originally written in English. Yeah. Amen. It was written in Greek and Hebrew, Aramaic and Greek. Those are the three basic languages. Amen. Yeah. So the, the Greek uh, word uh, for, uh, for, for agreement is uh, sumphaneo. Sumphaneo. That's the that two word. The first word, sum, means uh, uh, working, people agreeing to work together. Mm -hmm. Working together. Amen. And, the, and then the second part of that word, phaneo, means sound. Amen. Oh, this is good. This is good. Amen. Amen. So what is it? It's, 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 it's people working. It's, it's a sound coming together. Rhythmically. Yeah. Amen. Rhythmically. Amen. Hallelujah. That's where we get the symphony. That's where we get our English word, symphony. Amen. Yeah. It's sound coming together. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. It, it's, it's, it's beautiful to hear one instrument play. Yeah. And it's beautiful to hear uh, 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 two or three instruments play. But when you have a whole, when you have a whole orchestra of instruments yeah. or a whole orchestra of voices, hallelujah, it brings so much more glory. Amen. Hallelujah. It just, it just does something to the atmosphere. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. So that word symphoneo means to agree together, to agree with one making a bargain, yes. or to make an agreement or, or to bargain. Amen. Amen. And then uh, let me just jump down to the Hebrew and then somebody get me uh, Jeremiah 31, verses 31 to 34. Hold it, hold it, just hold it. So the Hebrew word for agree means it's, it's berith. Uh -huh. Berith, it means to make a covenant. Amen. A covenant or an agreement, an alliance, a pledge. Now, between mankind, it means a treaty, an alliance, uh, a league, amen, a, or an alliance of a friendship, an alliance of marriage. Amen. Amen. And then between God and man, it's an alliance of friendship, 
Amen. A covenant or a divine ordinance with signs or pledges. Amen. Hallelujah. We see in the book of Acts where he said, where God confirmed their word, following with signs and wonders. Amen. So God was, a, was in agreement with what they were preaching. Amen. Hallelujah. So uh, give me Jeremiah 31, uh, 31 and 34. Amen. Mm -hmm. Behold, the days come, say the Lord, that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel mm -hmm. and with the house of Judah, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand, amen, to bring them out of the land of Egypt with my covenant day break. Although I was a husband unto them, saith the Lord, amen. but this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, say the Lord, I will put my law in their inward parts and write it in their hearts. And I will be their God and they shall be my people. And they shall teach no more every man his neighbor and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord, for they shall all know me from the least of them unto the greatest of them, say the Lord. For I will forgive their iniquities and I will remember their sins no more. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. And you know, some scholars say that, that, that that's a reference or a prophecy to Israel only. But I want to say that that, uh, that also extends itself out unto us. Amen. Because that's Old Testament. And, and just write this in your margin, right next to Jeremiah 31, 30, 31 34. It's also recorded in Hebrews chapter 10. It is. It is. Amen. And Hebrews yes. chapter 10, starting at the 14th verse, yes. says, for, for by one offering, he had perfected forever them that are sanctified. He's yes. talking about Jesus. Amen. Yes. That are perfected for us. Amen. The yes. ones that are be sanctified. We're the called out ones. Yes. We are the consecrated ones. Amen. Yes. We are the we are the Ecclesia. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yes. He says, where, where, where of the Holy Ghost also is a witness for to us that for after he had said before, this is the covenant, or this is the agreement, yes. or this is the contract, if, as yes. you were, if you were, amen, that I will make with them after those days, said the Lord, I will put my laws in their hearts and, and in their minds, and I will write them, and their sins and iniquities I will remember no more. What a blessing, amen, because yes. when God says he puts our sins, when we repent, when we forget, when we repent, he puts our sins into the sea of forgetfulness. He casts our sins as far from us as the east is to the west, and to remember them no more. Only men remember our sin. Oh, amen. amen. Only folk, only your friend remember yes. your sin. Yes. Amen. amen. And your family too. Yes. Amen. I remember when you was a little hoodlum. Yes. I remember when you was a little heifer yes. running the street. And I remember, I remember you when you was a thief. Or when, yes. I don't, yeah, but you see, God said, I don't remember none of that. Amen. When you're coming, when we're coming in the blood, he remembers none of that. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yes. Hallelujah. Said, Though your sins be as scarlet. Yes. Amen. His blood is able to wash us and to cleanse us and to make us whiter yes. than yes. snow. Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. Also, uh, let's let somebody read for me uh, uh, Psalm 133, verses 1, 2, and 3. I got it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh huh. Behold how good and how pleasant it is mm -hmm. for brethren to dwell together in unity. Yes. It is like the precious oil upon the head uh -huh. running down on the beard, right. the beard of Aaron running down on the edge of his garment. Uh -huh. It is like the dew of Ormon descending upon the mountains of Zion. For there the Lord commanded the blessing, life forevermore. Amen, amen, amen. So, so, so two things about that scripture. He talks about Zion. He talks about these places where he commands a blessing. But it, look at it in a spiritual sense. Unity is where he commands a blessing. Yes. Amen. Amen. Unity Amen. is the place. And can, can we say that? Can we agree to say that that is true? Amen. That unity is the place where God commands Amen. a blessing. Amen. Amen. So it, it would behoove us, amen, as believers in God, to yes. walk in unity, Amen. to live in unity, to operate in unity. Amen. Yes. Because we, we, we want to, not just to see a blessing for blessing's sake. Amen. But we want to be pleasing to God, Amen. Yes. And so, so in unity, uh, the Hebrew, the Hebrew word there is yahad, yahad, and, it, uh, and it's, it means uni, uni, union, unitedness. It means being together, all together, or all together alike. Mm -hmm. And then in Greek, we're gonna we're gonna get to somebody get me Ephesians three, Ephesians four, three and six, and then Ephesians uh, 
4, 13 to 16. The Greek uh, word, therefore, for unity is henotes. It means unanimity, and it means agreement. Amen? So again, we see where these two words, uh, the, the definition of these two words, the application of these bo of both of these words, uh, dovetail into each other. Amen? They hinge uh, on one another. Amen? So, Pastor Vita, you, go, uh, you got uh, Ephesians 4, yes. uh, 3 and 6, 3 through 6? Yes. Go ahead, read, please. Uh -huh. It says, endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit. Oh, pause, the pause right there. Yes. Endeavoring, amen? That means that's something we're, we're striving. For yes, amen, endeavor and we're work something that we're working on. Endeavoring to keep what the bond of yes, unity, yes, amen. Yes. Go ahead, go ahead, amen. In the youth, the unity of the spirit and the bond of peace, uh -huh. there is one body, one body, one spirit, one spirit, even as ye are called in one hope, uh -huh. of your calling, uh -huh. one Lord, uh -huh. one faith, one baptism, mm -hmm. one God, mm -hmm. one Father. Of all who is above all, through all, and in you all. Amen. So, Amen. so, so we can see the totality of yeah. what unity, what, what what the Apostle Paul is talking about when he when he addresses unity. Amen. Yeah. And he talks about one God, one Spirit, one baptism. We're all one. Amen. Hallelujah. We're baptized into one baptism. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. um, somebody get me Ephesians four thirteen to sixteen. I got it. Uh huh. Till we all come to the unity of the faith. Oh, hold on. Till we all come to the what? To the what? Unity unity of the to the unity of the what? Of faith. Uh huh. And of the knowledge of the Son of God. Uh huh. So, so, so two things need to come together. We need to come. To, we need to come to the fullness of the unity of the faith and the unity of the knowledge of the Son of God. Keep going. To a perfect man. To a perfect man. Let, let's talk about that word perfect for a minute. We understand that that word perfect doesn't mean without flaw. That's right. It can mean without flaw. But in this context, it means that we are complete yes. in him. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory to God. Go ahead, Sister Rita. To the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. Oh, my goodness. Who wants to walk in the fullness of the stature yes. of Christ? We all, that's what we're all striving for. Amen. Yes. To walk in his fullness. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. That we should no longer be children yes. tossed to and fro uh -huh. and, ca and carried about with every wind of doctrine uh -huh. by the trickery of men uh -huh. in the cunning craftiness of deceitful uh -huh. plotting, but speaking the truth in love uh -huh. may grow up in yes. all things yes. into him mm -hmm. who is the head of mm -hmm. Christ. Mm -hmm. From whom the old body joined and knit together, by which, by what every joint supplies, mm -hmm. according yes. to the yes. effective working by which every part does, yes. its shares causes growth of the body uh -huh. for the edifying of itself yes. in love. Yes. Hallelujah. Let, let me ask y'all something. Y'all, y'all, this, this is y'all time to talk about to me. What key words you hear in there? You heard it in that, in those scriptures. There's two things that kept jumping out. Y'all yeah. talk to me. Talk back at me now. Yeah. Love, unity. Love, unity. Amen. Uh, uh, come on. Maturity. Maturity. Uh -huh. Maturity. That's one. Maturity. What else? What? Uh, okay, but maturity is the key word. Maturity. What else? What else? What What other words in that scripture deals with maturity? Amen. Amen. Whole body fitly joined. Mm -hmm. uh, growth, uh, growth, 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 right? Edification, yes. amen, hallelujah. So he's talking about growing up in him, amen, hallelujah. Yes. He, he, uh, thank you, Jesus. And growing up, we, he says, don't be no more children. Yes. So he's taking us from where we are from children, amen? Toss to and from because children just grab, gravitate to anything. Yes. But when we grow up, we know that because our senses are exercised to discern both good and evil, yes. we, know the, we know the difference. Yes. Amen. And those that know better ought to do better. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. And the reason he says we ought to grow from children because in, in other in, in other scripture he says, desire the sincere milk of the word yes. that you may grow thereby. Yes. So yes. so milk is good. The milk of the word is good. Yes. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. It helps yes. us to grow. Yes. But then you gotta get past them and not past, but you gotta grow beyond just feeding on milk. Yes. We got to feed on the bread. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. He says, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Yeah. That's it. That's yeah. this is the bread right here. Amen. Amen. He, he, even, he even rebuked them. Praise God. Yes, he when, when he was uh, with his disciples and doing the last stuff, he says, your fathers ate manna from heaven yes. and they are dead. Yes. He says, I am the true bread. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the bread that we are to be receiving from is Jesus himself and his word. Jesus said, my words that I speak of you, they are spirit. 
that they are alive. Amen? Amen. And then Paul goes on to rebuke another group of folk. He says, I want to feed you meat. Yes. But you were not able to bear it. Yes. You need to go back to milk again. Yes. Lord have mercy. Yes. Yes. Let that testimony be none of ours. Yes. Amen. Yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes. That we have grown and we got some tea. Yes. Amen. Yes. That we can chew on the word of God. Amen. Yes. As, as yes. Joshua as it said in Joshua, we meditate on the word day and night. Yes. To observe all that is written therein. Yes. That we may make our way prosperous and have good yes. success. Yes. And that, that, that process. So meditation just means it, it means to mutter, it means to utter under our breath, it means to say over and over again. Yeah. And it, it, they, one of the examples that I've learned is it's uh, like like how a cow eats, amen. A cow chews chews the grass, then he swallows it down, and it goes into one stomach. Then he then he regurgitates it and he eats it again, gets some more juice, and it goes down into a second a second stomach. Or Second section of the stomach, of the stomach, then brings it up again a third time and chews it out and gets more juice, more nutrients, and then it goes down into that third and fourth, and he does that until until there's no nothing left. That's how we ought to do the word, amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. But we can you you all understand we can never exhaust That's right. the power of the word. We can never amen. exhaust the strength that comes from this word. Amen. We can never exhaust the wisdom that comes out of this That's word. Right. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. So why is agreement important in the Bible? Agreements were designed to establish loyalty mm, 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 and faithfulness. Amen. And breaking an agreement was thought to be a serious matter. Amen. Hallelujah. Do you all remember the days when all an agreement called for was, uh, my, I gave you my word. Yes. If, if I gave you my word and I shook your hand, yes. that was good as gold. Yes. Amen. And, and people honor that. Yeah. Amen. But not anymore. Not people anymore. nowadays, even when you get a contract written yeah. and both of you sign yeah. the agreement, yeah. folks still breaking contracts. Yeah. Yeah. Left yeah. and right. Amen. Yeah. We not only do we see it in corporate America, yeah. we see it in families. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. And, and we, we, I mean, I know all of us got a story to tell where somebody broke a contract yeah. where we were concerned. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. Glory yeah. to God. Amen. You know, it's just amazing with the insurance company. Yeah. You know, I, I feel so sorry for those people that are, that are losing their houses to these natural disasters. And they go to the insurance company and say, well, the insurance company doesn't. They, listen, the insurance company doesn't cover an act of God. Yes. How dare they? <laughs> How dare they? Okay. Uh, <laughs> Amen. Wow. Okay. So, so this way of thinking about relationships guided Israel's faith from the beginning. Amen. Yeah. The most important agreements were those that, in, that God made with his people. But let's read, let's read through these scriptures and see what happened. What, what, what did God do? What did God speak when he, uh, when he went through, when, he, when, they broke, when they broke the covenant? Leviticus chapter 26, 15 and 16 reads, And if ye shall despise my statutes, yes. or if your soul abhor my judgments, yes. so that ye will not do all my commandments, mm -hmm. but that ye break my commandments, I, will, I also will do this unto you. I will even appoint you, or I will even appoint over you terror, mm. oh my God, consumption, mm. and a burning argue mm. that shall consume the eyes mm. and cause sorrow of heart, mm. and ye shall sow in your seed, you shall sow your seed in vain, mm. and your enemy shall eat it. Mm. My God, Jesus. because they broke God's covenant, amen? Mm. Ezekiel chapter 16, verses 59 and 60 says, For thus saith the Lord God, I will even deal with thee as thou hast done, which has despised the oath in breaking the covenant, breaking the agreement. Nevertheless, God is so merciful. Nevertheless, I will remember my covenant with thee in the days of thy youth, uh -huh. and I will establish unto thee an everlasting covenant. Yes. Thank God for his mercy. Yes. Thank God for his mercy. Yes. And then in Judges 2 and 20, we see, And the anger of the Lord was hot against Israel. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. And he said, Because that this people have transgressed my covenant, which I commanded their fathers, and have not hearkened unto my voice. Mm -hmm. Amen. The, the Bible says that when we hear, in the day, in the day when we hear the voice of the Lord, harden not your hearts. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hallelujah. So what, why, what is the importance of unity? Unity allows us to accomplish far greater things than we ever could do by ourselves. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. It combines strength and thoughts to turn them into something amazing. We know the Bible says one can chase a thousand yes. and two can put ten thousand to flight. Amen. And I, I always say I love those numbers because if one can chase a thousand, two can put ten thousand to flight, three can chase a hundred thousand, 
four can chase uh, a million, and then that means five can chase ten million. Yeah. Oh, glory to God. I like them numbers. Yeah. I love them numbers. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. The power of unity says we are all interconnected. Yeah. Whether we come from St. Croix, U.S. Virgin Islands, Jamaica, New York, uh, Hawaii, we, those of us that are believers in Christ, we are all interconnected. Amen. Yes. Yes. The importance of connection and compassion are key are key tenets of conscious discipline. Amen. Connection is an essential impulse that is needed for survival. Amen. Glory to God. You know, you remember, I think, it was, I don't know if it was Kirk Franklin, or somebody said, sang a song, I need you to survive. Yes. Amen. Amen. One man is not an island to himself. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. We, we need each other. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory to God. Yes. Amen. Unity or connection keeps us, uh, it keeps keeps us in an optimal brain state that facilitates learning and problem solving. Glory to God. We, we, when we come together to solve a problem, we'll come up with a, a solution faster than one, one person trying to bust their brain, trying to figure it out. Amen. Amen? Like yesterday, when we was talking through, you see how quick answers came from different, different people and different suggestions, and we all just flowed. Amen? Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Why is being in agreement and unity so powerful? Agreement and unity are crucial because they provide strength and power and courage. When people come together, they can achieve more than they could do individually. Yes. Amen? And uh, I, was on a, I was on a conference a couple days ago, and um, uh, we was talking about, you know, different people doing this and, and other people doing their part, and we brought it all together. And one lady at the end, at the end of the conference, she said, she said this quote, right? She said, teamwork makes the dream work. Amen. All of us working together. Ain't no one organization or one person got all the answers. Right. Amen. Hallelujah. Right. And then uh, you see that I have in bold text, T-E-A-M, team. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Together, everybody yeah. achieves more. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. So let's look at an example. Let's look at an example of the power of agreement in the Bible. Amen. Mm -hmm. Now this may not be a good example, but let's see what happens when. Well, let's see how God looks at folk when they get in agreement. Somebody get me Genesis 11 and verse, verses 1 through 9. Genesis 11 verses 1 through 9. Go ahead, go ahead, sir. And the whole earth was one language, mm -hmm. and one speech, and yes. it came to pass as they journeyed from the east that they found a plain in the land of Shinar, uh -huh. and they dwelt there. And they said one to another, Go, and let us make brick, and burn them thoroughly. And they had brick f for stone and slime, had they for mortar. Uh -huh. And they said, Go go to, let us build a city and a tower, whose yeah. top may reach unto heaven. Mm -hmm. and let us make us a name, lest we be scattered abroad yes. upon the face of the yes. whole earth. Yes. And the Lord came down to see the city yes. and the tower yes. which the children men builded. Yes. And the Lord said, Behold, the people is one, mm. and they have all one language. Yes. And, this, and this they begin to do. Mm. And now nothing will be restrained from, from them which they have imagined to do. Go, go to, let us go down, and there confound their language that they may not understand one another's speech. So the Lord scattered them abroad from thence upon the face of all the earth, and they left off to, the build, to, to build the city. Therefore is the name of it called Babel, because the Lord did there confound the language of all the earth, and from thence did the Lord scatter them abroad upon the face of all the earth. These are the generations of Shem. Shem was a hundred years old, and begat. Hmm. I think that, that yeah, that's worse. I think you went over a little bit. <laughs> Two years after the flood, and Shem lived after he begat Athasgod, five hundred years, and begat sons and daughters. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So we see we see a, 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 a multiple of things going on here. Amen. Yeah. These guys were unified. They were in a total agreement. Amen. They were locked arm in arm. Amen. Yes. They said we will build a tower to God, mm -hmm. and God says, "Wait a minute." God says, let us. So we see the, the, the unity of the Father, the Trinity, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yes. God is saying, let, you know, I'm going to go down and I'm going to yes. break this. He said, no, let us go down. Yes. 
Let us go down and see what this is about. Amen. Yeah. And God said, you know, we're going to confound them. Because they were in unity, because they had one language, because they had one speech, they were all speaking. This is a key. They were all speaking the same things. Yeah. That's, that, that's going to be key in some scriptures coming up. Yeah. They were speaking the same thing. Amen. Because they had one language. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. And God said, the, the God, God and, the, and the Trinity said, you know what? Nothing is going to be impossible for anything that they imagine to do. Yeah. All they got to do is think about it, yeah. and they're they going to be able to perform it. God said, no, we're not having this. Yeah. <laughs> we're not having this. We need to go down and bust this up right now. Amen. Yeah. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. And, and y'all know the rest of the story. He yeah. scattered them out. Amen. Yeah. And that's why we got different languages all over the earth. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Agreement for the wrong reasons can be costly. Mm -hmm. Amen. Who got Proverbs chapter 6? Verses 1, 2, and 3. And if somebody can get me to amplify, you can read it from the King, from the King James or whatever version you have. But I want, I want, really want to hear it from the amplified. You can pull it from the amplified. Go ahead. My son, mm -hmm. if thou be surety for thy friend, mm -hmm. if thou hast stricken thy hand with a stranger, mm -hmm. if thou art snared with the words of thy mouth, mm -hmm. if thou art taken with the words of thy mouth, mm -hmm. do this now, yes. my son, and yes. deliver thyself. When thou art come into the hand of thy friend, yes. go, humble thyself, and make sure thy friend. Amen. So he's talking about making an agreement with a stranger. Yes. Yes. Who would do something like that? Amen. Mm -hmm. But sometimes in, in, in our ignorance or sometimes when we're doing stuff online, we don't know these people. Yes. No. Huh? Yes. We we don't know these folk. We don't know who's behind that other the other the, on the other end of that that, that electronic connection. Yes. And we make an agreement, say, yes. Man, yes. Yes. And then sometimes yes. we like, wait a minute, we we may, may have made a mistake. Yes. We would have made a we. Mm. So now we need to try and retract and try yes. to get out of that. Amen. And basically, that's what that scripture is saying. You have the who has the uh, the amplifier? You don't have the amplifier version, no? Okay. Um, Okay, that's fine. Uh, I, I thought somebody would, would be able to pull it up. Okay, so so uh, get me Acts. Here, here, here's a, let's just move on to the next one. Acts chapter 5, verses 1 through 11. Again, agreement in the, for the wrong reasons can be costly. Mm -hmm. Who got Acts chapter 5, verses 1 through 11? Go ahead, Sister Rita. But a certain man named Ananias, yes. with Sapphira his wife, sold a possession. Yes. And he kept back part of the proceeds proceeds his wife also being aware of it and brought a certain part of lay and laid it at the apostles feet but peter said ananias why has satan filled your heart to lie to the holy spirit and keep back part of the price of the land for yourself while it remained was it not your, your own and after it was sold was it not in your own control why have you conceived this thing in your heart? You have not lied to men, but to God. Mm -hmm. Then Ananias, hearing these words, fell down and breathed his last. Breathed his last. Yes. So great fear came upon all those who heard these things. And the young man arose and wrapped him up, carried him out, and buried him. Now it was about three hours later mm -hmm. when his wife came in, not knowing what had happened. And Peter answered her, tell me whether you sold the land for so much. She said, yes, for so much. Then Peter said to her, how is it that you have agreed together to test the spirit of the Lord? Look, the feet of those who have buried your husband are at the door and they will carry you out. Then immediately she fell down at his feet and breathed her last. And the young man came into the found, came in and found her dead, and carrying her out, buried her by her husband. So great fear came upon all the church and upon all who heard these things. Jesus. Um, oh, Jesus. Yeah. Do not follow your husband or your wife into sin. That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. I don't care how much you love them. That's right. Amen. That's right. I don't care how sweet they are to you. Yes. Do not follow your husband or your wife yes. into Amen. sin. Amen. The thing with An Ananas and Sapphira, the, the, what, what gets me about his wife, it was three hours after. Yes, he didn't know. That means she either had time to contemplate, yes. time to repent, 
and tell them to say, you know what, we, we really shouldn't be doing this because they were believers in the church. Yes, they were. They were. They were given, They were believers in the church, yes. but they wanted to make themselves a, a, a reputation. They wanted to show more than than than, than you know, want to seem big before the folk. And Paul, Paul call, he calls them out. He says, you you in line to us, yeah, Peter. Peter, you're not you're not lying to us. You're lying to the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Boom. And you know what? What's amazing about this story? This is this is in the age of grace. That's right. That's right. This ain't old. This ain't Old Testament. Yeah. Yeah. This is not Old Testament. Yes. This is the church. Yes. This is the church. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory yes. to God. So be careful, Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Not that, that not that we're anybody's looking for an and a fire incident, yes. but God is is gonna cause judgment. Yes. Amen. God. The Bible says, if judgment first begin at the house of the Lord. Judgment must begin at the house of the Lord. Yes. Where shall the ungodly and the sinner man appear? Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. So we need to clean our clean our houses, clean our clocks. Amen. Yes. You know, just just do, do a clean sweep. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Lord, anything in me that, oh, yes. that's not right, Lord, get it out. Yes. Help, Lord, get I lay aside every sin yes. and the waste that does so easily beset me. Yes. Help me to run this race with patience that is set before me. Yes. As I look unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of my faith. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory to God. So we don't want to be in agreement for the wrong reasons. No. We don't want to have the wrong motives. Amen. Yes. When we agree, amen. Don't agree to cheat amen. the government. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Pay your taxes. That's right. And your tithe. That's right. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Because either way, if you don't pay your taxes, the government come to get you. Yeah. And you don't pay, you don't bring your tithe, God gonna get you. That's right. <laughs> amen. One way or another, amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. Glory to God. Amen. So unity brings a blessing and a reward. Mm. Amen. In Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 30 from the, uh, I, don't know, I forgot what, I put, I put NCB, but I forgot what that was, that version. It says, one person cannot chase a thousand people, and two people cannot fight 10,000 unless their rock, Jesus, the Lord, mm. has sold them or unless the Lord has given them up. Yeah. Amen. And that, that's that's that scripture, one shall chase a thousand. How can one chase a thousand and two put ten thousand to flight? Only if Jesus is in the midst. Glory yeah. to God. And then yeah. uh, again, blessing brings a reward. Unity, I'm sorry, unity brings a blessing and a reward. Uh, again, Ecclesiastes chapter four, verses nine to twelve. We read that earlier. Let's uh, let me let me hit it one one more time. It says two are better than one yeah. because they have a good reward for their labor. For if they fall one will lift him, lift up his fellow. But woe unto him that is alone when he falleth, Amen. for he hath not another to help him up. Jesus. Again, if two lie together, then they have heat. Yes. But how can one be warm alone? And in verse 12, mm -hmm. if one prevail against him, two shall withstand him, yes. and a threefold cord is not easily broken. Yes. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah. according to God. So the importance, as, as, we, as we get ready to wrap it up, amen, the importance of unity and agreement, there are ten, 10 basic reasons, amen. Uh, unity and agreement promotes teamwork and cooperation. Yeah. Unity and agreement encourages mutual understanding and respect. Mm -hmm. Something we've lost in our community. Yeah. Respect. Mm -hmm. You remember the days when uh, if you were a minister or a preacher and you were walking, walking down the sidewalk and somebody, were, uh, a young guy or anybody was smoking, they, they knew you were a reverend, they put that cigarette up, yeah. out or put it behind their back. Yeah. Or that bottle and put that, reverend, how you doing today? Praise God, reverend. Yeah. God bless you, reverend. Yeah. Amen. But nowadays, they, 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 they curse you out and they say, hey, reverend, you want to hit? Yeah. Reverend, you want to hit? Oh, hey, reverend, you want to swing? Yeah. Amen. That's how they are. And I tell you, walking down the street, they they, they used to move. They used to yes. you know, used to stand aside. They used to stand, you know, stand back and let you give you give you yeah. give you a respect move. Now they, they dare you to, yes. to, to walk, you know, yes. to walk up on them. Yes. Oh, Lord have mercy. Yes. And it's so you know, praise the Lord. It, it's so amazing because I've seen this myself. When I was uh, when I was in, still in the army, when I was deployed, you know. Um, out in, out in the desert, they were, you know, some of the, the non-safe guys, they were out there, you know, drinking whatever and smoking. And, and as soon they knew, they knew I was the pastor because they no chaplain was there, so I became yeah, the pastor. The pastor Amen. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody got to be the pastor. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. And they saw me coming up and they put this, they yeah. took this, uh, pastor, how you doing? How you yeah. doing? How you doing, Sergeant yeah. Evans? You know, and, yeah. and it was just respect. Yeah. And you know, and, and you don't you don't brush them off. You talk with them, you, you minister to them. I said, yeah. you know, everything's going, how y'all, how y'all yeah. doing today? Amen. 
Hallelujah. Then you, you know you walk off and they they go right back to it. But you know you you, you love them, amen. Hallelujah. He says, with love and kindness have I drawn, them. amen. But nowadays they will blow smoke in your face. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. The importance of a unity and agreement it leads to a collective it leads to collective action and shared goals. It creates a sense of community and belonging. It helps us to resolve conflicts and disputes peacefully. We don't need to be fighting among one another. Yes, amen. We're not fighting against flesh and blood anyway. That's right. Amen. That's right. It facilitates problem solving and decision making. It supports and strengthens relationships. Hallelujah. It promotes social, economic, and political stability. Our country needs that right now. It helps us to build trust and confidence among individuals and groups and it contributes to overall social and national development. If our country can get this down, amen, amen. and not just our country, but all the countries in the world, they can get this down. They can take this lesson. Y'all y'all take notes. Y'all take notes. It's on YouTube. Y'all take notes. Y'all get it together. Yes, amen. Right. Hallelujah. Right. Glory to God. We, we can all, we, we can, it's still one nation under God, as far as I'm concerned. Amen. Right. America. Right. So some additional scriptures on the theme of agreement. Somebody get me Romans 12, 5 through 17. Somebody else get me 1 Corinthians 1, 9 and 10. And somebody get me Philippians chapter 2, verses 1 and 3. I have Romans, Pastor. You have Romans? Okay, go ahead. Go ahead with Romans, Pastor Lee. Rejoice with them that do rejoice. Mm. And weep with them that weep. Be not of the same. Be of the same mind one towards another. Mind not high things, but condescend to men of low estate. Be not wise in your own conceit. Recompense to no man evil for evil. Provide things honest in the sight of all men. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. You know, the, the key thing I pull out of that, he says, weep, uh, weep with those that do weep and rejoice with those that do rejoice. Yes. And I like to, I, I, we always like to add, if you can't rejoice with somebody who is rejoicing, yes. then you're not ready for yours. Yes. Amen. Amen. If you see somebody with a blessing, you try to, I, I'm trying to outclap them. Yes. I'm trying to outpraise them because yes. God said, Lord, I must, I want to be next. Yes. I want to be next, amen, hallelujah. Yeah. But if I show my hands in my pocket, why they get blessed? What they do to get that? Yeah. What they do to get that promotion? Who they been talking to? Yeah. And you know, the, you know, the world says this, uh, it's not what you know, it's who you know. They don't know how true that is. <laughs> they don't know how true that is. It's who you know. Yeah. It is who you know, amen. Not, not who you know on this natural level. It's who you know, amen. Yeah. Glory to God, hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. So he's talking about there, be of the same yes. mind. Yes. When he's talking to the church at Rome, he's talking to the church yes. here in, in, in Martinez. Yes. He's talking to, talking to the Covenant Kingdom International Ministries. We are to be of the same yes. mind. Yes. Amen. Yes. Who got 1 Corinthians 1, 9 through 10? I got it. Go ahead. Go ahead, please. God is faithful. God is faithful. Hallelujah. By whom you were called into the fellowship of his son, mm -hmm. Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. our Lord. Now I plead with you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that you all speak the same thing, mm. and that there be no divisions among you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. He says what? <laughs> speak the, the same, same things. things. Yeah. And th so that there be what? No, no divisions, divisions among, among you. you. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, keep going. But keep that going. you be perfectly joined together. There's that word perfect again. Joined together uh -huh. in the same mind and in the same judgment. Hallelujah. Amen. He's calling us to speak the same things and to be of the same mind. In other words, he's saying, let's agree. Let's come together in unity. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. And then, so the last, uh, not the last one, but Philippians chapter 2, verses 1 and 3. Um, therefore, mm -hmm. if there is any encouragement in Christ, mm. if there is any consolation of love, mm. if there is any fellowship of the Spirit, if any affection and compassion, make my joy complete by being of the same mind, maintaining the same love, wow. united in Spirit, intent on one purpose. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Do, do nothing from selfish 
or empty conceit, mm -hmm. but with humility of mind, regard one another as more important than yourselves. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Amen. He says several things there. Consolation in Christ. Yeah. Fellowship of the Spirit. Mm -hmm. Comfort of love. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Bowels and mercies. Amen. Mm -hmm. Being on one accord. Being of one mind. Amen. Glory to God. Let nothing be done through strife or vain glory, but let us come together in unity. Amen. Let us be like-minded. And so a final word on unity from Jesus. Let's hear what Jesus has to say on the topic. Amen. In John chapter 17, starting at the 14th verse, we know that this is part of his prayer. Amen. Part of his prayer before he left. Jesus speaking, speaking to God, communicating with God. John chapter 17, pick it up at the 14th verse. I have given them thy word. And the world had hated them because they are not of the world. Just like the world hates you. Even as I am not of the world, I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world, that thou shouldest keep them, but thou shouldest keep them from the evil. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is it's truth. truth. As thou has going all the time. as thou has sent me into the world, even so have I sent them into the world. And for their sakes I sanctify myself that they that they also might be sanctified tr through thy truth. Neither I pray for these alone, but for them also which shall believe on me through their word. So that means we're included. We're a part of that bunch, amen? amen, that he calls to be sanctified, amen. that he calls to be separated, sanctified by amen. truth, amen, hallelujah. And they all may be one, as thou, Father, art in me, and I in thee, amen. that they also may be one in us, amen. that the world may believe that thou hast sent me. So unity, amen, is the thing that shows the world that we are his, that we are his amen, amen, hallelujah, amen. that God exists, glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah, that he is real. And the glory which thou hast given me, I have given them. So God has already given us, Jesus has already given us his glory. You know, we sing songs, and I, I'm not knocking the songs per se, but sometimes we need to be very mindful of some of the songs we sing. We sing songs like, Lord, show me your glory. But why are we asking God to show us his glory if he says in his word that he had already given it to us? Yes. Woo! Yes. Yes, amen. Hallelujah. Amen, even as we are one. Hallelujah. I in them and thou in me, that they may be made perfect in, no, in one, that the world may know, hallelujah, that thou hast sent me and hast loved them as thou hast loved me. So we are to be witnesses. The, does that the word says? By this shall all men know that we are his disciples yes. for the love that we have towards yes. one another. Because if we're fighting and we're bickering and there's inroads against us and, and we fight against the world there is that we don't need to go there for that. We, we get that we get that right out here. Yes, Amen. Amen. I can get that at Walmart. Yes. I can get that at, at, at Publix. I can get that at the bank. Yes. I can get that at Target. I don't need to go to the church to get that. I can get that right out here. Yes. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes. He says, verse 24, Father, I will that they also whom thou givest me be with me where I am that they may behold my glory which thou hast given me. Yes. For thou lovest me before the foundation of the world. Yes. Hallelujah. And let me, just, let me just go ahead and finish that. Yes. O righteous Father, the world hath not known thee, but I have known thee, yes. and these have known that thou hast sent me. Yes. And I have declared unto them my, thy name, and will declare it, that the love wherewith thou hast loved me may be in them and I in them. Yes. So he taught that's 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 the power of unity. That's Amen. the power of agreement. Amen. That we being one in Christ. Yes. Amen. One in fellowship. Yes. Us speaking the yes. same yes. things. Amen. Yes. Us walking in unity because we what that's we want to be in the place where God commands yes. the blessing. Yes. Amen. Yes. I hope y'all were blessed by this yes. word. I hope y'all enjoyed this. Yes. Amen. Twelve hours gonna be long before you. Yes. But, amen. but let's do everything as Paul said. Let's endeavor to walk 
in the spirit of unity. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah, we may have different ideas. We may have different thoughts. We may have different backgrounds. But that just shouldn't stop us from coming together based on this word. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, we give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise. And we thank you for your word today on the, the power of unity and agreement. Help us, oh Lord, as you prayed for your disciples, as you prayed before you left the earth, that we may be one. As you and your father are one. You in him and him in you and you in us. Glory to God. Help us, Lord, to put aside our differences. Put aside the things that separate us. And let us come together on the one thing that unites us. The blood of Christ. Faith in your beloved son. And in your word. We do give you glory, honor, and praise for your word today. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 amen, amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Give God a hand up of praise if you enjoy that. Amen. amen. You got anything amen. out of that. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. 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 So we uh um, let's go, let's move in. Let's we're gonna move in. Let's go into communion right now. So welcome back again, and we pray that you enjoyed that message. As you can see, I'm wearing my Gap hat, standing in the Gap. Gap, God answers prayer. And no matter what you're going through, no matter what challenges, what circumstances, or events you're facing in your life, know that God always answers prayer. Amen. We pray that if you enjoyed this video, if what, the content that we're putting out is blessing you, give us a like, give us a thumbs up. Amen. Go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Amen. And hit that bell so you can be notified every time we throw up a broadcast, whether it's live streaming or, or, or pre-recorded. We pray that you have a safe, again, a safe and a wonderful, blessed 4th of July. Amen. Enjoy your independence, but do not forget or, no, or neglect your dependence on God. God bless you. We love you. Bye-bye.